I think Math Olympiads is something that's been really, really special to me for forever. Um, I remember I was starting off in like seventh grade or something, and it was just something that I found interesting. It was something that I got a little bit of thrill off. I was just trying to do my best. But um, <laughs> today I am the director of the Sophie Fellowship. Wonderful. And um, now I think the stage has come where I'm also sort of retiring from the director, <laughs> and you're someone retired. else from the team is taking. You're, you're retiring at seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> like the general, this thing is once people go to college. They give it to the next generation. Right. Did um, you write the JE exam? No, I didn't write the JE exam, but I was preparing for it actually. Mm -hmm. I took the sort of in between where I said, okay, I will prepare for JE, but I will also prepare for Math Olympiads. Math of JE is a lot more about speed. It's about getting the answer fast. It doesn't even matter what methods you use. You could be like just guessing the answer or something. There's a lot of formulas and stuff involved. And then this is the first problem, and I'm like. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> like uh, remainders. I I thought the only way you could do them is long division. Uh, right. Surely you don't expect me to calculate 111 right. raised to 111. Yeah, and then I showed it to my dad, and he was also like, "Huh? Okay, interesting." <laughs> and you want to divide this by 13. And you just want the remainder. You don't really care about the quotient. Basic method to find the sort of remainder would be to actually do the long division and like evaluate the thing. But of course, we can't do that here. Instead, we are looking at some sort of new way. And the way I like to explain this, you change entire mathematics. So you change the way math works. 